Welcome in beautiful travelers. My name is Maria at Indigo Earth. I am here to do a reading for Pisces, our water signs, Pisces. Pisces, you are ruled by the planet Neptune, the planet of spirituality. You are our dreamers. Your dual nature is to be imaginative, yet you can be very spacey. Your drive is to embody unconditional love. And your mantra is, I believe. Welcome in cross watchers. You may be connected to or in a relationship with the Pisces. Therefore, you are here to see what's going on with your person. Whoa, they're all coming out for you, Pisces. I'm going to take this one because it popped. Um, where was I? Oh. So some of this message could be for you as well. Um, and time is fluid. So anytime that you come across this message was a time that it was meant for you to hear it. Okay, you guys are just flipping everywhere. Calm down. Calm down. Um, you and I, our energies are working together to bring you a message for the highest growth of your soul as well as the highest growth of the collective souls. As within, so without. As above, so below. As the micro, so the macro. So let's see what messages come through for you today, Pisces. We've got a theme going over here. Looks a little bit sketchy, but we'll we'll find out what's going on with that. And if you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe and share so that others can also get the messages as well to help the channel grow. Be much appreciated. So Pisces, let's see where you go today. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Messages for Pisces, for the highest tone, soul growth and evolution, divine expression. I just ask you to take a breath, clear your mind, open up your heart to receive messages that are coming through for you today. Thank you. Okay, Pisces, for your theme, you've got the Nine of Wands um, and the Eight of Swords. So Nine of Wands is about fear. It's the monkey mind, repetitive thoughts, things coming up, keeping you in apprehension, keeping you in anxiety, high anxiety. This could be, um, this could have something to do too because you got the Eight of Swords next to it. So Eight of Swords is about... Um, things, thought processes, or things that are kind of like self-imposed or keeping yourself stuck or feeling like you are um, imprisoned, can't get out, don't know what to do, don't know where to go, feeling lost, feeling abandoned. Um, this could be something that might have to do with um, mental health issues. <clears throat> this could be PTSD as well. This could be learned behavior. This could be um, extreme, like PTSD, extreme fear and anxiety. So let's see where we go with that, Pisces. Okay. All right. So overall energy is a nine of cups. Wow. So those are like total opposite energies. Total opposite energies. The situation... The Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is moving away from things that no longer serve you, um, moving towards emotional fulfillment, taking a spiritual journey, or actually taking a journey. Your opportunity. There we go. The Tower. So something's been disrupted. Something's been dismantled. Something's broke down. Something's torn apart. Um... Something has left you out to have to navigate alone. Um, looks like there's a lot of fear in here. Looks like there could be a lot of shame and guilt. Um, could be bringing up triggers, right? Could be bringing up triggers that you're having a hard time dealing with. Um, you're definitely going through anxiety in the monkey mind, replaying everything over and over again, which is keeping you stuck. Just feeling like you're imprisoned bondage like you can't get out like it's just it's it's so overwhelming 
could have been forced into this. Could have came by surprise. But let's see where we go. We'll get clarity on that. What the universe is working on with you, the Empress. So somehow, somewhere along the way, so there's a couple messages in here. The Empress is a great manifester, right? She takes all her experiences, all her, her lived experiences, her resources, her, um, she works with earth. She works, works with the spiritual realm. She works with, um, you know, air, fire, water, and she replica or she brings in abundance. She's fertility, right? She's pregnant with ideas. She's pregnant with inspiration. She's pregnant with, um, knowledge and she's just, she gives. So she is the great manifester. So either this manifested by maybe some kind of underlying energies that you're not aware of that, that brought this about, or this could be the empress sometimes can be very needy if she doesn't have the emperor in the reading to kind of balance her. She can be, um, she can use like sensualism and sexuality for her power. Um, she can be kind of manipulative and conniving. So um, something that's not being seen, Eight of Swords, something that's not being seen, some kind of energy, um, the universe is trying to help you get clear with that. So energies that surround you that you might not be aware of, Ten of Pentacles, so this has something to do with upbringing, your foundation. Um, this has something to do with like your paradigms, how you were brought up, how you see the world, how you are in the world, your belief systems, your paradigms, your ideas, things that kind of drive you to do what you do in the world. Energies that are coming in, the chariot, making a decision about moving forward, Energies that are fading away. You've got the moon. Secrets. Secrets. Moon is about things that are hidden that you can't see. Um, how you're showing up in this situation. The hanged man feeling stuck. Feeling stuck. Can't go anywhere. Don't know what to do. Been turned upside down. What's right in front of you that you need to contend with? Five of Pentacles, feeling lonely, feeling lost, feeling abandoned, feeling left out in the cold. Your hopes and fears. The Magician, maybe being able to turn this situation around or you could have been manipulated because the Magician can, can, take, <clears throat> can take kind of their, um, their resources or their knowledge or their wisdom and manipulate people with it. And your outcome, Ace of Swords, that's beautiful. That is a new beginning in truth. That is messages coming through for you. That is clarity. That is raw authenticity. Raw truth, getting down to the core of the matter. This is about raw self-expression as well with the Eight of Wands. So you got two cards of communication about truth here, about clarity, about um, when the Ace of Swords pull, comes up, this is about who are you really? How are you showing up in the in the world? What is your raw truth? So let's see where we go with this for you. We have the Eight of Cups. That is your situation. Moving away from something. Taking a journey. Leaving something behind that no longer fulfills you emotionally. Got death. Yeah, you may have been forced out of this. And the King of Swords. <clears throat> some kind of message came through. Some kind of clarity. Some kind of understanding. Some kind of truth. And it was forceful. King of Swords is all about justice. Getting down to the nitty gritty. And you got death covering that. So so something came, some kind of clarity came through. Um, and this could also be, you know, having to do with depression, mental illness, mental health.
But this looks like it was forced on you. Because you've got death in your situation and you got the tower as your opportunity. <clears throat> so this is definitely a major upset. This is definitely a major upset. So clarify the tower, please. Ace of Pentacles for a new beginning. Queen of Cups. Working more from, um, from your heart space, empathy, love, compassion for yourself, right? And we have the Seven of Wands. <sighs> Creating boundaries. Creating healthy boundaries, standing your guard. Guarding your aura. <clears throat> so this tower was brought about to get you to go through a new portal for a new beginning. It's time for a new beginning where there's self-care, right? Where you're working more from a space of um, nurturing yourself and having compassion and empathy. This is about a situation specifically where you need to create boundaries. And feel free to swap around the characters. So let's see what the Empress is all about for you. My throat is getting dry. What the Empress is. What the universe is working on with you. We've got the Empress. The Manifester. Page of Cups. Ten of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. So, Page of Cups is about... Um, It's like a gift. It's like an opening up, getting ready to open up, like from the heart space, like moving forward from a, a different type of like thought process, right? It's about, in, it's about like inspired inspiration that that's also a one, but it's also about dreaming, being imaginative, um, being more Being, moving more from a place of that's emotionally fulfilling for you. And it's the page, so it's the start of like opening up the heart chakra, really. It's a, it's a start of like working from a space of love and compassion and understanding that you can still work at a space from love and compassion and hold your boundaries. Because holding your boundaries is love and compassion, right? And then we've got the Ten of Swords again. Ten of Swords is about, um, like I said, this could be depression, this could be bipolar, this could be PTSD, this is the monkey mind, um, this could have something to do with drugs, but this is like complete surrender, like you, you just can't, exhaustion, just done, like there's just nowhere else to go anymore. It's either surrender or completely given up. And the Eight of Pentacles is about refocusing. Right? Working hard. Um, having to refocus. Having to put time and effort into something. So the Empress is coming up because somehow this situation was manifested by a foundation that was built. Underlying energies that you might not see. And it's time to like look at whatever this Ten of Swords is in your life. <clears throat> whatever this Ten of Swords is in your life, and you would know because, you know, usually Ten of Swords has something to do with um, some sort of excess, exce some sort of like, it, you know, it could be anything, over-emotional eating. It's kind of right up there with, um, with the devil, attachments. But this, the Ten of Swords has more to do with like, because you've got self-sabotage in here. So doing things that are harmful to you. Well, of course, anything or excess is harmful to you. But this is more like drugs and alcohol. This could be more like heroin. This could be more like meth. This could be more like um, alcoholism. This could be more like, you know, PTSD, mental health issues, schizophrenia, those types of things. Um, and this... We're, when you when you're in those types of states, the mind is constantly always going, 
And so the universe is trying to help you see that you've got to work from a more compassionate space and get real focused on um, what brings you joy that's not destructive. What brings you joy that's not destructive? Because you've got the Ten of Pentacles here, which is energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. So Ten of, Ten of Pentacles is about energy patterns that have come up through lineage, lineages, right? Things that, you know, we've taken on that um, maybe we might not be aware of. So as they say, addiction is a genetic disease. Okay, well, it's also an energy pattern. There are certain patterns that you follow when you are come up in homes that have been abusive or have had, you know, alcoholism or drug addiction in them. Um, and a lot of that is built around abandonment, which is that five of cups coming in and shame and guilt. And it carries on. It keeps carrying on. So it's about being aware of these patterns. Let's see what the chariot is for you. King of Cups. Having a lot of emotion, having a lot of um, feelings, not being able to channel them correctly. With the Page of Swords, um, King of Cups has a lot of emotions, has a lot of passion, has a lot of feelings, but isn't really able to channel them right. Um, he doesn't have the outlets to channel them correctly. So that comes from deep insecurities and lack of self-esteem, of understanding like how to um, bring those emotions up without and being vulnerable, not wanting to be vulnerable. And you got the Page of Swords, which is about um, finding clarity, finding clarity, finding understanding. There is a message here that's coming through to you. There's a message that needs to either come through or needs to come from you. Some sort of message. And you've got the star. This is about healing and embodiment. Star is about working with higher realms. Maybe finding alternative healing modalities like um, Reiki healing, energy healing, um, past life regression, um, quantum healing, quantum hypnosis, um, what else? There's so much out there now. Crystal healing, herbalists, herbalists, finding an herbalist to work with an herbalist, but really looking into modalities that can bring you to a level, like raise your energetic level. So let's see here. I'm going to use these cards. Let's see what the hanged man is for you. This is how you're showing up in the situation, stuck. And you know, it's okay to ask for help too. Or look for help or look for answers. But this, this is about energetic patterns that are imprinted, that have been imprinted. And, and something shook this up, some kind of tower moment. It could have been with a relationship. It could have been... It could have been, you know, anything. It could have been with family. It could have been with siblings. It could have been with um, best friends. Um, something shook this up and kind of opened up Pandora's box. Just two more, please. I'm going to go one more time through. Okay, we've got the Ace of Pentacles and we got the Fool and we got the Five of Cups again. So this has to do with um, walking unconsciously 
walking unconsciously and carrying grief and sadness and loneliness and pain with you and maybe trying to mask that or not or like um, finding outlets to not have to feel this. Um, and Ace of Pentacles is about it's time to start a new beginning. Time to start a new beginning and to move forward because this Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles keep wanting to show up. So let's get one more on the Five of Pentacles. In the extended for you, I'm going to go, I'm going to look at, I'm going to get a little deeper into this outcome. Um, I'm going to look at this Ten of Pentacles down here in energies that surround you that you might not be aware of. Um, you got swords showing up here. That's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You got Aquarius here, star energy. You got Cancer showing up. And the moon, that's you. So I'll probably look at air signs. And then I'll look at tendencies that need to be released during this time and energies that need to be embraced. So five of pentacles, please. This is what's right in front of you. Sadness. Feeling alone, lost. Feeling left out in the cold, abandoned. You got the queen of wands. Queen of Wands can be very dramatic, very egotistical, very self-centered. This could be you or it could be somebody you're dealing with. Remember, feel free to swap around the characters. She can also be very needy. She can also use um, sexuality as a power tool to get what she wants. Got the Eight of Cups, again, moving away from this, moving away from those types of feelings, those types of energies. Or it could be that those types of energies are what's causing the Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, feeling left behind, feeling abandoned. Those energies of the Queen of Wands. Time to take a look at those. Ace of Swords, time to come to the truth. Yep. And you got the Hierophant as well. Time to seek out spiritual counsel. Time to find help. Time to maybe find counsel. Somebody that, um, that can work with... Um, can work with energy patterns. Could be looking at plant medicine as well. <clears throat> the hair font is some, somewhat of a spiritual nature. It, it is looking for counsel. It is looking for someone that has higher knowledge, higher wisdom. Um, maybe somebody, you know, within the field of, of anxiety or um, that knows a lot about... Um, you know, repetitive thoughts, repetitive mind thoughts, but somebody that has a higher counsel, somebody of a, a more um, skilled nature in the area of which you, you are moving away from. Choosing your path. <clears throat> so this is a message to you from the universe, from the divine to the divine. For those of you not going on to the extended, um, I'm giving you, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm like, I'm trying to like absorb all this. Sorry. Um, this is heavy. This is heavy. So really it's, it's, um, these are imprinted energetic patterns that need to be untangled, that need to be like unhooked. Um, and so... 
yeah, a choice has to be made here. And it might be hard when you're in that place to make a choice because you can't think straight. Sometimes when that monkey mind is going, it's hard to like, you know, you just, you need to get clear for a minute and it's a hard place to find. Um, and that's why maybe seeking out counsel, seeking out friends, seeking out others who maybe have taken the journey that you need to take. <clears throat> but you're coming through, you're looking for clarity and you got the eight of wands. You're, 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 you're going to start communicating. You want truth. You want to stand in your authenticity and you're, you're going to start communicating that or communication is coming in to you to help or assist. So choosing your path, all is possible. The meaning of this card, new vistas are ahead and you have the power to choose. And within this is your freedom. Do not allow the restrictions and limitations placed on you by the expectations of others detour your path. Be daring, cast aside conventions and restrictions, restrictions, dance, laugh, explore, go beyond your predictable behavior. Say yes to life. You're so, you support others in stepping into their freedom. Choose life on your terms. Move beyond those situations that you've outgrown. Sometimes to be free, the traveler needs to put down his pack and just keep walking. There are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to cast ordinary things aside and fling your arms to the heavens in joy. You're not on the planet to always meet the needs and expectations of others. You're here to explore, expand, and step into your extraordinary self. Don't unconditionally accept the rules you have placed on yourself. There's that Eight of Swords. Expand and step into your extraordinary self. Um, don't unconditionally accept the rules that you have placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. Choose pathways that lead to greater freedom and happiness. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope this helped. Until next time, I wish you the peace that passes all understanding. Bye-bye.